know, probably the most asked question that I get is, hey, what about your HydroWave? Does it work? How do you use it? What's the deal with the HydroWave? I mean, how do you set it? You know, what's it for? And I can tell you that I probably had as much or more experience with a HydroWave as anybody out there. And I'm amazed still at some of the things that I see when I'm using it. So the biggest thing about the HydroWave is just understanding um, the, the conditions that you're in and knowing how to set it up. So uh, there's basically sound patterns to imitate just about any type of bait fish. And that's all the HydroWave is, is designed to do. It's, it's designed to imitate things that happen naturally in nature. You know, I learned a long time ago that uh, fish are very curious, especially in clear water situations where you can really observe them. All you have to do in a lot of cases is make noise and, and they're gonna come. You know, divers will tell you all the time, you get down there and bang a couple rocks together and here comes the bass. Bass are very curious by nature. So if you can create sounds that um, sound real to them, sounds of other bass feeding, you know, of a bass attacking bait fish, they're very predatory and, and they're definitely competitive. So you can fire up that competitive nature. And that's where I've seen the HydroWave do its most damage is when you have groups of bass around bait. If you got bass and bait in the same vicinity, that's when the HydroWave is the trigger that'll set them off. What I try to do is mimic the, the sound patterns to the conditions that I'm, that I'm fishing. So right now, you know, I'm, I'm in a pre-spawn pattern down here at Table Rock Lake. There's a lot of shad in this lake. Um, you know, the conditions are not much wind right now. It's pretty calm. I'm running a delayed schooling pattern. I'm seeing occasional pods of baits here. So I'm just kind of using the things that I'm picking up and seeing and knowing how to set the hydrowave. Um, you know, I want to set it up so it's going to be natural for those conditions. You know, if I had a, a day out here and the wind is blowing 30 mile an hour and, and we're, you know, fishing these windy banks and that, that's the day um, then I'm going to run that power pattern. I'm going to run the volume up. I'm going to run it continuous. I'm rolling down the bank, throwing a crankbait or a spinnerbait, something covering a lot of water. You, you need to have an aggressive pattern for those conditions. And what it really does, more than anything, is when you get around these fish, because I've got the speaker mounted right on my trolling motor right here, is when you get around the fish or around the bait, the sound that the hydrowave makes, those sounds, you know, when it kicks off on, on that power pattern or that schooling action. Oh, I just had a bite that schooling action like that, it's gonna make that bait nervous. They're gonna twitch, they're gonna move, and it'll trigger those fish to bite and to school. So, so many times when I'm running my hydrowave, I'm going down the bank, and then all of a sudden, right there, 20 feet away, they come up busting bait, you know? The sound of that hydrowave and the sound of that bait, it made them nervous, they moved too quick, and it triggered those fish into biting, and you just make a short pitch over there and you can catch them. So, you know, in the summer months, when the water temperature's high and the fish's metabolism's a lot higher, I like to run it more aggressively. It's the same way you would think about your retrieve you know in, in cold water you're cranking a crankbait real slow or a, slim, a swim bait real slow you want subtler sounds you want it to be more natural for those conditions in the heat of the summer and you're burning a 6xd on those ledges i want an all-out blitz going on with it I, you know i want a more aggressive sound you you're trying to to fire up those fish that their metabolism is already high so it's all about reading the conditions, the forage base that you're fishing, the time of the year and the patterns, and adjusting the sounds to your HydroWave to match that particular day. So when you go through the menu of the sound patterns on the HydroWave, there's a little bit of everything in there. You know, there's brim sounds, you know, there's herring sounds, there's shad sounds, and then there's situational sounds. So we, we put some different mixes of sound patterns together, like the finesse and the ultra finesse, or the power pattern, where it's a, it's a mix of shad sounds, bass attacking shad, bass schooling, or the sounds of bluegills popping the pads, or the crayfish, you know, walking on the bottom, things like that. So they're natural sounds, and we try to blend them together in a series so that it'll match a set of conditions that an angler is going to see out there on the water. So, and with the H2, it gives you all that programmability to customize it for any condition. I'm constantly adjusting mine and changing it, you know, different uh, sound patterns and I'm really watching my graph and a lot of a lot of cases you can see the bait come up You know if you're seeing those deep schools of bait you can pull that bait up off the bottom I've had hundreds and hundreds of times where the shad come right to the speaker So I know how well the hydrowave works when you see that you know it's it's working for you